So I'm happy to be here. Nobody likes meaningless competition more than me as a former jock. We are going off the deep end. The hardest format you could play a tournament in. Foursomes, alternate shot, whatever you want to call it. With some of the best players in the state, there's some absolute sticks, both our group and in this tournament, and I cannot wait to see how this goes. God, I haven't played tournament golf since ninth grade. It was the last like legitimate, like, you know, organized tournament that I played that isn't a member guest, you know, circle jerk. I don't know how it's gonna go. I think we've already had an agreement as of the day we signed up. No apologizing, starts right now. Are you nervous at all about the format? Honestly, like not really. Like I'm used to being in weird spots. So if you put me there, like, dude, I'm, it's not, not gonna be any worse than where I've put myself. Take that for what it's worth. Thanks for picking me. I love the idea of kind of strategizing around our games on picking and choosing the holes. I think there's some re a really interesting setup. And I feel pretty confident like going through the course, it's like all the par fives are even holes, which we're gonna test it out today, but I think this would be awesome for you to tee off on. Off the tee, like I'm finding the fairway. So like, we just need to keep doing that. Like find the fairway in a stress-free way. Like don't try to kill the ball. It's simple, not easy. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I cannot wait to find out. Uh, one thing I was like, don't get your ex expectations high. Like, oh, I'm gonna go out and play really well. Like that, you know, it's like, dude, that always doesn't go well. So I'm trying to go in with very tempered expectations, play within myself. I have not been playing a lot of golf. I've been nursing myself back from a wrist tendonitis. It's time to test yourself. Let's, you know, the game's gotten a lot better. I'm excited to get the competitive juices flowing. I'm excited to be with my guy, Neil. People don't really appreciate how much He's improved in the last year. It's time to put that to the test. So I think it's a good way, having a partner, having a wingman is a good way to get back into tournament golf. And I wanna see him in tournament form. He's an athlete, he's a competitor, and it's gonna be really, really interesting to see how it all plays out. Goal for me, under par, I think 70. That, that, that feels very attainable. I, I, I don't want to focus on the score, but I have three goals for us today. Okay. No penalty shots. Okay. No three putts. Okay. Under par on par fives. Okay. I think we shoot 70 if we do all of those things. Got it. But those are even more specific. What do yeah. you like? Some things we learned about the golf course. Super wide. Yeah. Insanely wide. Insanely wide. Uh, but you got to position yourself because the greens are crazy. And we got into some a few weird angles. Looking for a swing feel, kind of feeling a little rust. If we're being honest, but I uh, kind of you know watch some old swing videos. It's always been like, watching the greatest hits. Watch my old go go swing. check out check out this move from Sunningdale. Like it go. was so pure. Go check out what was the other one? Well, check out this move from uh, Palmasia. From Palmasia. All the Gasparilla, swing. dude. This is like I mean this is what I really had. It well, going. I'm flipping it at the top, and I'm you trying are. to I'm you trying are. to like envision not. I'll give it the shit. Top. It's true. It actually helps to. I need to probably do a little bit of that yeah. myself. Your honor, your honor. No <laughs> you love it. Next on the tee. Sinking the five, six, seven, eight footers under pressure. That's where like I have no total unknown, right? Yeah, sure. I've made it, you know, from putts on tour saucer. I've put under pressure for like some money on the line, but like that's where it's like, dude, there's no gimmies. <laughs> there's, you have to finish everything. So like, if there's a four footer, it's like, ah, oh, man, like that's, I'm really, really interested to see how I handle short putts. I'm gonna track how many, you know, like my percentage on those. You know, a lot of people are, when we signed up, got a lot of messages saying like, oh, I can't wait to see where Icarito puts you. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm not, that's not, I'm not fearing that at all. I, the, I brought the kid along because the kid can play. A lot of stuff goes wrong in tournament play. You gotta be prepared for it, you gotta swallow it, and you gotta know we're gonna hit some bad shots. Bad shots. We always do. I always do. <laughs> but you gotta go get it. You gotta go rebound, uh, go get birdies. I've had, listen, I like that. I mean, if you take unplayable, you get two? Yeah. Nah. No? No. All right. I can't take it back.
Yeah, you can keep it too, that's fine. What sucked about two and eight is we had mistakes off the tee that kind of doubled down. Yeah. We made other mistakes after it. So it's like when we have a mistake, we got to clean it up and we got to get back on track quickly. That's how you keep yourself in around. That's what the guys in our group did really well when they made mistakes. Like they, you look up and they're still making par. Your approach game yesterday was absolutely dialed. I mean, the, a lot of the approaches fall on you with the way the order is stress goes. free. You gave us a lot of great looks. I, I hit good putts on a couple of them that I thought could have gone in and they didn't. I hit bad putts on a couple of them, but I mean, for the most part, we just didn't get enough out of our really good approach shots. Yeah. Like a squirrely one on twelve, or well, like, ah, because that bunker was like, ah, man, like what are we death. gonna do from here? That was death. It'll put you in a horrible spot. I mean, that cost us a shot and a half, probably that shot, because we should be making four there half the time from that spot.
Yo, no, no, no. <laughs> fire. <Just> snake. <laughs> I mean, 14 greens is pretty strong. We had 14 greens. No, we didn't putt horribly. We didn't putt that bad. I mean, I think there's three or four. It's like, God, man, I, I hit that same exact putt yep. again. We can definitely shoot par. I know we shot four over yesterday, but I, the more I think about it, the more I'm, I'm proud of how we played. I am too, man. We made That's some, how we played really well. We made some physical errors, which is going to happen. We're going to hit bad couple, shots. I had a couple bad we shots. We always do. No. But, and you had a couple squirrely second ones. Yeah, I mean, we I, kind I of, feel like the way I look at it, I feel like I cost us two doubles, and you cost us two bogeys. Does probably. that make sense? Oh, yeah. Like, but, and then all of them were on par fives. Yeah. Kind of, but not all. No, I guess eight wasn't, but... Birdieable hole, a reachable hole. Yeah, like holes where we should be scoring. It was like, ah, damn, man. We handled the adversity. Like, two, surviving two doubles is tough. Like, you take away, you know, a couple of those tee shots, and That's we, true. we made nothing. We made one putt outside of five feet. I think. I know. And. It's not like we were throwing bricks up there. It's that's just the reality of tournament golf, though. You feel like you're just burning edges over and over and over again. It's the guy that is hitting them in the center of the cup that is not burning the edges that ends up at the top of the leaderboard. 